I designed these templates on Canva and then printed them out, saving them as a PDF and then printing them out as a PDF poster. Now I am taping them together and putting them back together so I can use them for a template and here I am putting down the transfer tape so I can attach all of the templates to it and then I'll be able to remove them without leaving the residue on the MDF. Another tip is to add contact paper or something similar to both sides of the pieces you will be stacking together so that way you can easily remove them and take them apart. And here I am cutting the board down with my jigsaw just to make it easier to make smaller pieces for cutting on my scroll saw. So after they were all trimmed down, I then started to remove all of the white areas. And this clip is slowed down to give you a better look at what I am doing. So I'm cutting out all of the white areas. Um, and these are double stacked. It is two quarter inch um, pieces put together. And this way when I am done cutting out the white, I will be able to remove the top layer and then continue to cut out just the name. Here I'm using my drill to make pilot holes for my inside cuts. Um, normally I do my inside cuts first, um, but because of the size of this, I found I wanted to trim some of the excess on the outside first, and um, it wasn't too flimsy with the double stack to do the inside cuts after. Now that I have everything cut out that I want on my bottom layer, I have removed the bottom layer and now I'm going to cut out just the top layer, which is the name that's going to set on top of the black cursive uh, letter on the bottom. with is the double stack. I have the name on top and then it sets on the letter with the name on the bottom. Kiddo's having a good nap. A lot of cutting and sanding and now I gotta prime them and then sand again. So 
after all of this was primed, I took it in and sanded it, and then it was time for paint. pregnant and feeling it and uh, sanding after I primed it. I didn't show this with all the main cutouts but here is a little video of me doing it on the bottom layer. in the tough areas to reach and then I am winding up all of the names with their back pieces and you giving your little seal of approval on the mall high five Yeah. Now it's time to glue everything together. Um, don't forget to dab off the excess glue on a piece of paper towel before you put it on to the sign. Peak of black and the color on top. 